Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw sell side active near yesterday's high for a move down towards the 87.75 to 89.75 support where buy side has been active. But overall, the sellers have been a bit more dominant in the overnight session. Heading into the open, our short term bias continues to be bullish. But we do have to keep in mind that the market has put in a pretty decent upside move over the last three sessions. So a bit of balancing up here would not be out of the norm. 87.75 to 89.75 marks the more aggressive area of support and holding above that zone would signal continued short-term bullishness. But a break below pre-market support doesn't mean that the sellers are necessarily in control. It would tell us that on the very small time frame, sellers are being a bit more dominant, but buyers can still defend at 83.75 to 85.75 and especially at 78 quarter to 80 quarter and 74 to 76. So when you're trading in an overall bullish environment, breakdowns have a tendency to fail. And that's something we have to keep in mind. So even if the market breaks below pre-market support, responsive buyers can still defend 83.75 to 85.75. And in the event that we try breaking below initial support, the odds are even higher for buyers to be active at 78 quarter to 80 quarter and especially at 74 to 76, although it's unlikely that the market would go all the way down to 74 to 76. And even in order to do that, we would have to see a lot of bearishness in real time. So heading into the open, we are going to continue to exercise caution on the short side and our overall focus will still be on the long side. But with the understanding that pre-market support is the more aggressive area of support, now, in bullish environments, even the aggressive areas can actually hold. But if we're seeing a lot of bearish signals in real time off the open, then we just have to bear in mind that pre-market support is not a zone that has to hold. But if the market continues to be quite bullish, then even that aggressive area has potential to hold. On the upside, we have initial resistance at 93 half to 95 half primarily just based on yesterday's high and the overnight high. If we are seeing continued broad market strength and sustained upside momentum, then we could still break out beyond 93 half to 95 half. Since that marks the all time high, there is no hard resistance beyond 95 half. But given that the markets usually respond at these large round numbers like 2500, we could see a sell response at 2500 to 2502. So those are the main ideas. Heading into the open, let's see if the buyers continue to be fairly aggressive and if they can hold ES above pre-market support and we'll take it from there.